Today I want to show you something that is, is a question we get asked a lot. Um, let me show you a great real estate site. This is Kabul Real Estate Search. It's a beautiful website. has some great communities. has some uh, property listings. has all this information. New on market. All this stuff. Uh, this is a site that was built by one of our clients. And we um, provided them some of the tools to do it. Helped them hook up the IDX to it and stuff. This client hasn't asked these kinds of questions, but sometimes we get questions from clients like, um, why can't we make it so that whenever I hover over the image, it displays over on the map a little image too, like on Zillow. Um, or Zillow has this type of a search uh, functionality, and I, I want that for my IDX broker site. Here's another one. Um, if I do a search for homes in Somerset, New Jersey on Realtor.com, it shows all these other areas around Somerset. Can you do that? Uh, why don't, can't we get that with uh, IDX Broker? And you can see here the new listings in Somerset, New Jersey. Actually, these are all in Franklin, in Franklin Township. They're not even in Somerset, but they're in the Somerset area. So, you know, they've got how many have been recently sold, open houses, homes for sale, price reduced, all this kind of stuff. This is actually referring more to Somerset County than it is Somerset City. But that's just kind of the way these guys handle it. So back to the question, why? Well, the truth is, it's all about the money. So think about this. These guys... Kabul Real Estate Search, again, have built a beautiful website. They've got great information about property in Los Cabos, Mexico. They've got IDX Broker hooked up to it, neighborhoods. I mean, this is a great website. But how much did they spend building this website? I honestly don't know. But I would say that they probably spent a few thousand dollars, maybe two thousand, three thousand, maybe even five thousand dollars. I don't know. Um... Are there things that could be handled better? Yeah, there are. You know, one is like right here on the price max, you actually don't need this many fields for a maximum price, for one thing. I mean, that's kind of picky, but you just don't need, uh, you know, that. There's not, nobody's going to have that many beds. That's like a million beds, that many baths, you know, a million baths. They could put map search, they could do all kinds of other things here if they wanted to. But it's just going to take a lot of money. These guys at Zillow, we just have to think about it. Their whole business is this. They've spent billions of, well, their company's worth billions of dollars. They've spent millions of dollars on this website. Yes, we can replicate a lot of that technology for a lot less than what Zillow had to spend to do it. They, but I go to some of these uh, real estate conferences and stuff, Zillow sends an army of people to every real estate conference. They host things that, you know, the Las Vegas uh, convention for realtors here in the Las Vegas area, any national realtor thing, they're there. They spend money. It's advertising. They spend money developing all these features. They have a bunch of developers that all they're doing all day is working on that Zillow website, making it faster, making it load better, giving all the users a great user experience. Um, Realtor.com actually does the same thing. They take a different approach to it, but they spend a lot of money. They're always at the conferences. They're always having their teams working on these sites. And, and it, they have to differentiate themselves. If you think about it, if we built in every feature on the Cabo Real Estate site or any other client site, every client that they have on Zillow.com, then uh, Zillow's got to kind of up their game a little bit. They're going to have to do something else because they can't let us all be the same as them. So, you know, they've added in schools. You can show, you know, okay, now we're showing all the schools. Can our client do that with IDX Broker? I'm sure they can. Is it going to cost a bunch of money? Yes. How much did Zillow spend to get that functionality at Zillow.com? Who knows? And so sometimes people say, well, IDX brokers should build that out. Well, that's possible. Some things they probably should. But some things, 
They're also very expensive. And maybe not all of the users at IDX Broker want all that functionality. So IDX Brokers made their product in many ways kind of an a la carte. So here's our basic tool. If you want more, you can hire somebody like Realty Candy or one of Realty Candy's competitors, and they'll build all that stuff. I mean, I, I could probably refer you to two or three of our competitors besides us who would be more than happy to build in all the map data for the schools. We would be happy to build it in too for somebody. How much is it going to cost? I don't know, but if it, you know, it could cost ten or twenty thousand dollars, which is a lot of money for most of our clients. If you're Zillow.com and we said, "Hey Zillow, we could add that in there for fifty grand," they'd have a they'd hire us in a heartbeat because they can spread that expense out over so many users that it's no big deal. They make millions and millions of dollars doing this, so it's no big deal. So. Uh, basically, that's just kind of what I wanted to share with you is that, yes, you can have every feature that Zillow.com has. Yes, we could make it do anything that Zillow or Realtor.com does. But we also have to take into consideration that they've spent millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars building out their website. Most of our clients have spent $1,000 or less building their website. There's a few clients, again, like Cabo Real Estate. I honestly don't know how much they've spent, but somebody spent a bunch of time on here. If they've spent, you know, five or four or five, maybe $10,000 on here, that wouldn't surprise me. But again, you know, ten anything over 10000 I would think was more than they spent. We don't have very many clients that have spent $10,000 on their website. But again, for Realtor.com and Zillow, ten grand is chump change. So that's why they have all these features and all this information that we don't have on our client sites. So hope that's helpful to somebody and uh, appreciate you listening. Thanks.